Dark Doriato. FDK, baby. Sign me up. If you like Dark Doriato and if you like pendulums, and whether you like FDKs or not, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Me and Dark Doriato, we go way back. This video will be a guest upload from my boy who just started his YouTube channel. It's the amazing Dark Doriato FDK. Before we get started, check out the link in the description below. It's going to contain his YouTube. So everyone go subscribe to the new YouTuber uh, who will eventually release crazy content like this. We're talking about a Dark Doriato FDK, man. Dark Doriato, Tempest Magician FDK, and this shit's consistent as hell. You know, people are gonna bail out or impermanence, whatever, the Electrum, and you're good. You got five negates, and hand traps are fine against it. If they get hand trapped, you just put up infinite negates. Super, super cool. FDK, good luck playing. And you guys know, me and Dark Doriato, we go way back. She was bay number one. Bay number one, video number one. And without Dark Doriato, Trip Game might never cease to be. It might never be anything. It was for the very OGs. Yo, if you're an OG and remember Dark Doriato, let me know in the comments below, because you guys are the day ones that I will not forget. 17,000 subs now, I won't forget you guys at 17 mil subs. Hey, he's not the only one you should subscribe to. Subscribe down below. When we hit 17,500 subscribers, we're like, what, 350 away? I'll be releasing my super secret, amazing, pendulum deck list that OTKs through everything. It honestly blew me away. It was fantastic. It utilizes Tempest Magician, d Sacro, and uh, Hybrid Librarian to ensure that you're, and uh, Magic Cat to always ensure you're gonna get it, and it's super, super consistent. And like I said, if they hand trap you, you just end up on a pendulum board of five negates, so who cares if they hand trap you? You're there still getting FTK. Uh, if they hand trap at the right time, like if they, uh, let's say they ogre the Electrum, they hit the Electrum, who gives a shit? They bail the Electrum, fine. You have a doctor to search for the Dark Doriato, and Dark Doriato really gets his combo going. And the most beautiful thing about this deck is when Thunders get annihilated on the next ban list, no one's playing hand traps. This FTK will run rampant next format, so don't forget it. You've seen it here first. With that being said, enjoy the video. G'day guys, it's me, Outback Yu Yu, and today I would like to give a special thanks to Triff Gaming for letting me do a guest upload on his channel. Really appreciate it, man. And without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Okay, let's start things off with the magicians. We play two harmonizing, one of each of the elemental magicians, one time gaze magician, and then the turbo cards. The triple chronograph, triple curtain razor, triple Cerberus, triple servant, the one jackal, three dark worm, one gate zero, and our ways into dark worm here. Now we play the best card in the entire deck, Dark Doriado and Magical Productor. Pretty much if you open one of these, it doesn't even matter if your Electromite gets hand trapped, you can still um, effectively FTK because all you need to do is just see Dark Doriado and you pretty much have game. Then we play the power spells. Triple Allure of Darkness, Triple Duelist Alliance, Triple Pendulum Call, Triple Spell Power Mastery, Two Into the Void and our Upside of Goblin, those are our draw cards of the deck. Then we do play the Ash Blossoms, the Droll and Lockbird, and the Spooky Dogwood as our other targets to stack on top of our deck with Dark Doriado. We play the one Reshi Ferret, and obviously if you draw Reshi Ferret you just have game anyway. We play the um, Reshi Ferret package here and now generic level 2. Side deck guys, it's all up to your choice. I am playing six extra deck cards to side in when I want to side out the FTK in your games two and your game three. Extra deck, we do play the one Vortex Magician to summon off of our Guard Dragon package, which is the one Arjapain, one LP, one Skull Dread, one Triple Burst. And then we have our FTK package, pretty much. The Excel Synchron, the Star Shaman, Quandex, Marcha, TG Hyper Librarian, Tempest Magician, Curious, Electromite, Link Karibo, and again, we will be using the Skull Dread for the FTK. Okay, so how does it work? All you need to do is summon Electromite, and then do this following couple of steps. Electromite to send Dark Doriado from your deck to your extra deck, so you can Pendulum summon it out, and then either add it back to your hand via Electromite's effect, or you can just Pendulum summon with it. So we're gonna do a Pendulum summon here, guys. We're gonna get Dark Worm, Dark Doriado, and our Servant of Endymion here. Okay, so we have our four monsters. Now we're going to activate Dark Doriado's effect. Dark Doriado will stack us any four cards that we wish. So we're going to be stacking our four cards to the top of our deck of the attributes that we select. So we have Wind, we have Fire, we have Earth, and we have Water. Okay, so now what you do next is you're going to link away our four guys here on the field into a four material Sayusha Skullgrid. Now Sayusha Skullgrid is going to allow us to draw these four cards from the top of our deck that we just stacked with Dr. Doriado into our hand and usually we'll be having other cards in our hand because Electromite lets you draw and most pendulums always plus so we'll have multiple cards so we can already shuffle the three back and we're going to be using Skullgrid's effect to special summon out Rescue Ferret and now I'm going to show you the combo of how to FTK. Okay guys to start things off we're going to activate our Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine to send our Dark Worm, Dark Worm to search gate zero as you guys all know and love the plus one of Dark Worm. We're going to activate Mythical Beast Cerberus, search Jackal, activate Jackal and get our Mythical Beast Cerberus. Now guys we did 
draw two turbo cards, but you can use your normal summon to make Electromite. This combo does not require you to have a uh, normal summon, just a pendulum summon. So we're going to make Electromite, Electromite to send our best card in the deck, Dark Doriado. We're going to activate our two scales, our high scale and our low scale, the low scale that we search with Dark Worm, and our Curtain Razor as our high scale. We're going to pendulum summon out our Dark Worm, our Dark Doriado, and one card from our hand, which we're going to use Oath Dragon because we are going to be able to use Magical Abductor as our low scale and stack some spell counters on it to make the FTK quicker. So we're going to use Dark Doriado to stack our three hand traps plus rescue ferret on top of our deck in any order that we please we're going to put the rescue ferret on top because here's another way to play around hand traps guys you can actually activate electromite because we haven't used electromite yet to pop the gate zero at the gate zero and to draw a card now the main reason we do this is to draw into rescue ferret and to clear the scale so we can activate magical abductor so now guys we're going to make a link four into skull dread draw our four cards that we want here uh, we have our hand traps so we're just going to keep the two most impactful hand traps in my opinion which is ash and draw and lockbird Okay, so we're going to use Skull Dread to special summon out the Rescue Ferret that we just drew, and we're going to use Rescue Ferret's effect to summon out Seam the Cloak, Magic Hat, and Glow Up Bulb. Now guys, these cards are very specific, and the zones do not matter at the moment, but they will matter uh, as we go in the combo, and I'll tell you guys when the zones start to matter. We're going to make a Synchro 5 into Excel Synchron. Seam the Cloak will trigger and give us a token. We're going to use Excel Synchron's effect to send a level 2. It doesn't matter if you make it a uh, level 7, or if you make it a level 3. It doesn't matter, we just need it to be a dark, and also to send a level 2 to graveyard we're going to use glow up bulb to make another dark here we're going to make link karibo which is an amazing card we're going to now use our seam the cloaks graveyard effect to send a monster we control to the graveyard to special summon it back so now we have our three darks with different types we're going to use them to make curious we're going to use chain link one curious chain link two steam the cloak to get another token just to play around those hand traps send our desynchro and we're going to mill three cards we're then going to use glow up bulb to mill a fourth card and summon itself back now we're going to make into our Hyper Star Shaman. Shaman's effect will trigger to summon out two level twos from the grave. Well, as many as you want, but we're going to summon two. We're going to summon out Magic Cat and Secret Current. Now these zones do matter at this point in time. We're going to now use our Shaman, who is a tuner and the level one token, to make Metal Marcher and revive our Seamless Cloak again to abuse its token effect. We're now going to make a Synchro 5 here into, it should be... TG Hyper Librarian, yes. Um, now we're going to use Steam the Cloak's effect again to get ourselves another token. And from this point on, we make our Quandex, which is uh, just happens to be a level 4 Synchro Tuner. So TG Hyper Librarian will trigger, so we draw another card. Um, next up, we're going to use our Magic Hat and our Quandex to make Tempest Magician. So now that we have assembled our board state, we have our Tempest Magician, our Hyper Librarian, our Magic Cat in the graveyard, and also the Synchro in the graveyard. So this way we have the full game combo, the full FTK, the full Tempest Magician FTK. So we'll be going as Chainlink 1 Hyper Librarian, Chainlink 2 Tempest Magician, and Chainlink 3 Magic Cat to stack our D Synchro on top of our deck. So we're always going to be drawing that card with our Hyper Librarian. So guys, we can discard extra cards here. We have three extra cards we can discard to gain, to, for Tempest Magician to gain extra counters to also FTK quicker. We also have our Abductor on the field and since Tempest Magician uses by removing spell counters from the field, Abductor basically lets us FTK twice as quickly. Bonus duel time for you guys. Uh, so basically, we drew an amazing hand. We got the Servant, uh, Electromite, everything we could possibly want here. And so let's just keep going. Ooh! Ooh. What a joker. <laughs> nice imperm, bro. Abductor, add Doriato, do the combo. Hand trap don't do anything. And even if you didn't have Abductor, you just go five negates. This deck is really, really good, man. I'm telling you right now. It don't matter. Hand traps don't matter. It really doesn't. Even if you didn't have Abductor, you just go do five negates. Pen like, hand traps do not affect pendulums. The only one who thinks hand traps affect pendulums are noobs who don't know how to play pendulums properly. It is super, super consistent. I'm telling you right now, you could draw any pendulum hand and do it. Literally any pendulum hand. I would say 90% success rate, even more, to be honest. If I put 99.9% .9 in the, you know, it's probably more close to 99.9, .9, but it's, it's, it's just draw a turbo card and you have it. Even if you don't draw a turbo card, just draw, like it doesn't matter. Just pendulum summon everything, Electro, but normal, the Doriado, and your Dengo, so usual. It's incredibly consistent. Hand traps are the only thing that would uh, prevent you from actually doing it. But then, like I said, you just go infinite in the gates after. This video, you guys got this far. So hit the subscribe button for me and your boy, uh, who is, like I said, now going to release crazy content for you guys. Uh, his the link to his YouTube will be in the description below. So show him some love for creating this combo. And you know what? If you want to be part of the Pendulum Brotherhood, hit that button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.